Recent videos show that the Chinese Navy J-15 fighters practice buddy store aerial refueling, a highly risky and sophisticated maneuver in military aviation. The J-15 is the only Chinese Navy carrier-based fighter jet currently in service. The buddy store, also called the buddy pod, is where one fighter receives fuel from another fighter in flight. There are only a few countries that have achieved this, and China is the latest one. To have two high-speed fighters connect to each other with refueling devices, the pilots need to be highly proficient in many areas of controlling the fighters, and the result is a huge boost to the Chinese aircraft carrier flight operation capability. China started developing the J-15 based on the Soviet T-10K-3 carrier-based prototype in the 2000s. The project was facing major challenges due to limited documentation handed over from the Ukrainians and Russians. In many ways, the J-15 is different from the Russian Su-33. One reason is that the T-10K-3 prototype is not the final model of the Su-33 development project. Interestingly Russia has abandoned the Su-33 fighters for the MiG-29K. The main reason is that India is funding the improvement of the MiG-29K, while the Su-33 fleet lacks funding. After almost a decade, the J-15 suffered some major setbacks, including control software malfunctions that killed more than one test pilot in test flights. The buddy store refueling method is vital to any naval force operating aircraft carriers. With restrictions on aircraft capacity on board and takeoff weight limits, the aircraft carrier aviation group usually faces a lack of bigger refueling planes, so buddy store becomes a necessity. The U.S. Navy operates a buddy store and flight refueling technique with its current F-A-18EF Super Hornet fighters and is likely to extend it to the F-35. The J-15 fighter is believed to be able to carry a UPAS-1 refueling pod. The pod will release a fueling tube with a drogue at the tip to connect with a receiving probe from the receiving J-15. The UPAS pod can transfer fuel at up to 2,000 liters per minute. Unlike the Su-27 and J-11, the J-15 can carry up to two drop tanks under its wings, enabling the fighter to offer 14 tons of fuel for refueling multiple aircraft. It can only carry one up as one pot on its centerline pylons, so it can only refuel one plane at a time. Aerial refueling is a critical force multiplier for the Chinese Navy. The capability extends fighters' weapons payload, flight time and range, helping the limited number of fighter jets on board a carrier stay airborne to intercept as many enemy aircraft or missiles as they can. In turn, this allows maximal flexibility for mission planning, vital to modern sea and air combat, such as engaging enemy aircraft further away from the carrier, and long-range patrol, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare missions. For the Chinese carriers currently in service, aerial refueling capacity can make a huge difference, as the carriers are much smaller than the U.S. Nimitz class and can carry only around 24 fighters. It can help to keep more fighters airborne to offer more protection to the fleet. The J-15 is also different from the Chinese-built Su-27, it has canards, a shortened tail sting, folding wing and tail modifications, and, of course, a tail hook. The J-15 retains the best features of the Su-27 a large radar dome, huge internal fuel capacity, and an external payload. According to reports, the J-15 uses the J-11B avionics suite and has a respectable multi-role capability, capable of launching ij 83 k anti-ship missiles and KD-88 ground attack missiles. It appears that the J-15 has not adapted active electronic scan array radar technology, which is already on board the J-10C and J-20. In combat missions, the J-15 typically carries four PL-12 active radar-guided air-to-air -air missiles and two PL-8 dogfight missiles. The next-generation PL-15 and PL-10 missiles will be added soon, as well as more precision ground attack weapons. The J-15 is to be replaced by the stealthy J-35 fighter currently in testing. And the key opponents are the F-35 and F-A-18E Super Hornet. A media report confirms that more J-15s are being built, including a two-seat variant. To work with the newly launched 003 aircraft carrier, the J-15 catapult launched variant has been in tests for a few years. Rumor has it that the J-35 medium-sized stealth fighter will enter service and replace the J-15 in the late 2020s, bringing the Chinese carrier-based fighter fleet to a stealth age. Just like any fighter jet, the J-15 has its own problems. It is not a stealth fighter, and it's not possible to convert or modify it to be a stealth fighter. That means before the J-35 enters service, maybe in three to five years' time, the Chinese Navy fighter fleet cannot compete with the F-22 or F-35 fighters. 
The newly launched Chinese Type 003 carrier requires a considerable number of carrier-borne aircraft to build up its capacity, highlighting the problem of the J-15 not being the latest generation fighter. China has sent the Liaoning aircraft carrier to conduct military drills in the Philippine Sea and Okinawa waters. It is not difficult to imagine that in real combat, the J-15 without stealth capability will not be able to fend off the U.S. or Japanese stealth fighters. The good news is that the J-35 is coming and working with ballistic missiles in the Chinese Air Force J-20 fighter, the J-15 can still serve as a key player in an integrated combat system, maximizing its capacity in modern combat. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.